guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is faith and today we're going to be reacting to candace owen this is the jay-z i know and loves if you are new to my youtube channel you're highly welcome please do subscribe give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and with all that being said let's just dive right into this video I saw this clip circulating. To be clear, this clip is old, but I think it's something that is worth talking about. It is rapper Jay-Z talking, I think hypothetically, people took it literally, about why he refused to give his cousin a loan for $4,800. Take a listen to Jay-Z being interviewed by Kevin Hart. You have cousins. You got to go home for Thanksgiving and people are talking to you like Kevin Hart. And you going home for solace. You want family. You're going home for peace of mind. You're going home for peace of mind. And they don't give you that and your because cousins, you're not, you're not your cousins in your grandma's living room saying, yo, man, I got this, uh, I got this play. I want to, if you just give me, you know what I mean? <laughs> 4,800, I could make you 2 million. You're yeah. like, it don't work like yeah. that, fam. And you got to explain to him, like, life isn't like that. And money isn't free and it, no one's giving our opportunities. If it sounds too good to be true, it's really, and then he like, oh, you don't believe in my dreams. So this sparked an online debate, and it's an online debate that keeps coming up. I saw this circulating on Facebook yesterday of, oh my gosh, Jay-Z is a billionaire, and he just wouldn't give his cousin $4,800. That's unbelievable. Why wouldn't he give his cousin $4,800? I want to be clear. I love hearing Jay-Z talk like this, and I have been very clear in the past that I was a huge Jay-Z fan growing up, that I listened to his music because a lot of it was a blueprint to success. You know, that in many ways, a lot of my thoughts, believe it or not, were mentored by Jay-Z. And then I completely turned against him because I felt like he turned against his own music. He turned against the things that he was saying when he was out there advocating for Democrat causes and trying to convince black people of their own victimhood. I mean, he was the number one anti-victim if you listen to his music, constantly talking about how he could get ahead and all he had to do was be the smartest person in the room, you know, advocating for people to understand business. So it's refreshing for me to hear him in this clip because it makes me, it makes me almost nostalgic for the Jay-Z that I knew and loved growing up or the Jay-Z that I believed that I knew and loved growing up through his music, because what he is talking about is so real. You know, the concept, and again, I think he's speaking hypothetically and people are taking him literally, that when somebody finds success, that other people should then be able to really just hustle them, right? The concept that give me $4,800 and I'll make you $2 million. No, that, that literally is not how life works. And this is a circumstance that comes up over and over again for people that find success and then they're considered to be cheap or not helpful because why wouldn't you just give that person the money? Because the person is not being authentic. They're asking you for cash because they don't actually want to work, right? And what I have found over and over again in various circumstances, whether it's old friends or whether it's family members and they ask you for help, is that they somehow believe that you got to the place that you got into your life for free. Like somebody just helped you and, and gave you a career when in fact there, oh, there's no days. steps that are being missed. People are working hard. There are sacrifices that I have had to make tremendous sacrifices in my life to get to where I am, you know, not going on. I didn't even go on my own honeymoon <laughs> because I had work. I literally did not go on a honeymoon because I had work. And it was hard to say no to every every party, every weekend, uh, everybody's having fun at the bar, uh, every trip that the friends were planning and everybody's going away for a weekend, every bachelorette party. It was hard to say no to those things, but I understood that they were sacrifices that I had to make. And so when the tables get flipped and people that hadn't made those, have not made those sacrifices come to you and say, well, can I have a check? Can I have some money? Why is it that people believe that they should be able to access free money without actually having to work hard themselves. It's a big question. I wanted to bring that clip because I wanted to hear other people debate it. Yes, I understand he is a billionaire. He could literally just give every single person in his, mo in his family money. But how would that help them? How would making them think that money is free actually help them? It's different, I guess, when you're talking about taking care of your grandparents or taking care of your parents in their times of need. But what I have found is that the people that act in the capacity of vultures are the people that want to enjoy their life the most, who want to make no sacrifices, who want to not work at all, who want life to be handed to them for free, that are the ones that will always come to you with their hands out. And from me, the answer is always no. If you want work, if you want an opportunity, I'm here to provide it. But if you just want somebody to hand you cash, I can't help you with that. All right, guys, if you like this video, you are definitely going to love the full episode even more. You can find it by clicking right here. Honestly, I really, really liked this video because it actually spoke facts 
some people when they feel like you've made it and you have enough they feel like they are so in debt you are so indebted to them like you have to do everything they ask them and they forget that you also have your own problems this is one thing with ungrateful people this is one thing with the kind of people we have in the society today like i've forgotten the right words to use here but i really really detest such people no matter how much you have in the bank you still have problems out there to solve you don't have to help everybody you can actually help when you are in a good place to help like you can do it but if you don't feel like you can carry such weight you do not have to do it you are not indebted to anybody in any way help out when you can and leave the rest for god you owe nobody man you worked for your money that's the my that's my own opinion for this video if you're new to my youtube channel you're highly welcome please do subscribe give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye